welcome to my playhouse and today I want to show that I'm a down to the ground guy so I'm sitting on the floor and I'm in the data center and I'm going to be talking about this rather old IBM slash Lenovo this was way before Lenovo ever got into the picture but now that the Lenovo has bought the X series I'm gonna start to call them Lenovo so there's as much as I can remember to do that um, but this old server which is I think it's a 2005 6 model or something it's a IBM slash Lenovo X series X3950 model 1 and the model number is it's a 8872 it's a good old server it has four processors dual cores with hyperthreading so when you connect the server in VMware it shows up to have 16 logical threads and this one is equipped with 32 gigabytes of RAM I use this server for students and I work somewhere where um, I don't think it's a good idea to let the students um, in on our mission critical equipment in very worst case somebody really could die if they really did something wrong I have this server here at my playhouse that the students connect to and they have different tasks that they perform they make a VMware server on this and one of the problems that I always have with this is that I have limited amount of hard disk space on this I have three drives on it oh, can you see that one two three that's the blue the blue tabs down here and each of those drives are 72 gigabytes so they're rather small so to really make a good VMware server, we always have to make a RAID 0 to stripe those drives. And that's, to be quite honest, it's a bad thing to, to teach the students that, oh, we don't have enough space, so we'll just make a stripe. Because there is no safety whatsoever. So I really wanted to make the server so that they could create a, a RAID 5 on it instead. So that they could try that and have the safety of doing that so I have been looking for drives uh, for this server and no, I didn't buy any I, I found some but um, it's not really the drives that are difficult it's the it's the mounting brackets to, to get those right um, I haven't checked on eBay what these costs but I found a couple here and these are the drives and they're not 72 gigabytes they're only 30 what are they 36.4 gigabytes which is one of the SCSI standards and I got two of those and that's enough five drives is enough for a RAID 5 but if I plug these in and I won't be able to make a RAID 5 with 72 GB drives. I'll have it have to do it with 36.4 GB drives and then everything is lost again. I'll get even less amount of space out of that. What I have also done is I've gotten some drives without the without the cases. And these are these are 73 gigabyte hard drives from IBM. IBM don't make these themselves. They put the label over the manufacturer's label, so I have no idea who produced these. Probably Hitachi, or I have no idea. But what I will do is I'll take I'll take these smaller drives out of the bay and put in these bigger drives so that these can fit inside of the server and that's a pretty in a professional environment you don't do this very much I have done it um, you might have seen the video on on solid-state drives I did it there 
instead of buying uh, IBM solid state drives for about a thousand dollars a piece, we put in some um, Samsung drives for yeah, what? They were almost only a hundred dollars a piece. So huge saving. Maybe well, see the video. But we're gonna do this. Let's. I'll just. I have this plate <laughs> that I took out in the last video. Let's put the, the new 73 gigabyte hard drives and the. 36.4 gigabyte hard drive and I have a set of screwdrivers this is a really good set of screwdrivers it has all the weird ones so let's figure out which weird ones are in here uh, it's it's Torx and it has a little split in the middle the, these are pretty they're not that common but luckily I think I have that in my set here let's see if this oh this is way too big there is it and it fits in there cool the only real problem is the label now that I'm exchanging the drive the label will not be fitting but I think I can live with that There we are. Very often when you buy something on eBay, um, you will be able to get the smaller drives like these 36.4 gigabyte drives. Uh, a couple of drives with the, with the mounting brackets and stuff will cost you next to nothing. But if you want larger drives, like if, if, this, if you wanted 300 gigabyte drives, they would be very expensive. And a lot of the time you can buy these cheap ones and then just buy the drives, the 300 gigabyte drives, um, without the brackets, and that will be a lot cheaper. So let's let's see what these looks like. If they look kind of the same. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Let's see if it fits. So let's just put them inside the server. Uh, these are just fillers to prevent the air from going through too easily. It's, the air is supposed to go through them but the holes are the same size as on this one with, with hot drives in it. So. Perfect. And the other one. Perfect. So now it's equipped with five drives and that's perfect for RAID 5 which will give me about 300 gigabytes when that RAID 5 is online. I think it's about 280 something. The fillers, I'm probably gonna put those inside of the server so that I don't lose them. So next time I have the server open, I'm gonna just throw them inside somewhere where they're out of the way. And these 36.4 gigabytes, they're well, I'm probably not going to need those, but I'm, I'm too cheap to throw out anything. So I'm, they're going to be filling up my stockpile here for a while. This is another drive. Uh, I'm not really sure how big this is, but, but this, is a, this is a SATA drive. And I just found this because you have to be careful that you actually get a drive that will be able to run in the server. And that's not very easy to find that because the IBM they don't they don't tell you that a Toshiba drive might work I have no idea if this will work in that server but they would all they will only tell you that the IBM servers will work in that server they won't tell you that Samsung Sige Hitachi whoever uh, will work in their servers they only want to sell their own stuff so when you're going out shopping um, might be a good idea to check the internet and see if any, anyone else has had these hard drive working on the server or be sure that you can return them if they don't work but 
see if you can start by buying one of them and if it works buy a whole lot more you can easily waste a lot of money that will just be on the shelf and that's irritating to have a lot of stuff on the shelf <laughs> it's not no it's not irritating it's well it's a lot of money out of your pocket that day so hope you got something out of this video so next time you have to buy some hard drives check if it's cheaper to buy a smaller hard drive and buy the hard drive a bigger hard drive without the casing or something like that and you might save some money thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and please give me that thumbs up so that um, even more people can enjoy these videos have a really nice day bye bye